Chicago Zero One doing on this marvelous, marvelous Tuesday. I hope all is well and everything is great and fine with you guys. This is just a spur of the moment video. Um, I'm just sitting at home, chilling, about to get ready. I'm just sitting here chilling, and I was just sitting here thinking about everything that transpired um, Sunday. Um, as far as with my dog and stuff, y'all, I'm just sitting here thinking. Let me just say a little back-end story. I had two cockapoos, okay? One of them I had to put, I had to put to sleep. He only had a 7% chance of living because he broke his back, okay? So I had to put him to sleep. So, which was Blackie's brother. His name was Bobo. Um, yeah, so I'm just sitting up here thinking, like, <laughs> I woke up and I asked my girl, where well, was Blackie when she, and she told me, um, she let him out in the back or whatever. But, you know, when I let Blackie out in the back, he takes a long time. And I just knew this time it was too long for him to be gone as long as he was, you know. So I said something ain't right or whatever, and that's when I went out in the back and called him and didn't see him. And the man said to me, uh, ma'am, stay right there. I know where your dog is. He was just in the back looking to get ready to get in. Blackie never has left out the back on his own. He's a very uh, good dog, and he's very friendly. So they see him as an easy target to get holding my dog for ransom. But the moral of the story of where I'm going with this is, y'all, I promise you, I thought I was never going to see my dog again. I never, that was the longest two hours of my life, thinking, hoping, and praying, having mixed feelings, and then I end up crying because I was frustrated and I wanted to kill the bitch that had my dog. And was lying and saying she didn't have them. Talking about she allergic to dogs. And she don't got my dog. And when the cops came, she going to ask me, ma'am, this your dog? Well, honey, I just left your apartment. And I told you that was my dog. And I got Bobo and Blackie after my mom passed to help me cope with my the, the passing of my mom. I fell in a deep depression and my dogs helped me along the way. Um and I just not too long ago got out of the depression stage. Now mind you, my mom been gone since two thousand eleven. You can't tell a how a person how to feel or how to think or how to get over of a loss of somebody when they dealing with something like that. I'm sorry that my phone is moving like this because I'm um, shooting with my phone and I'm holding it and I, I'm too lazy to get the tripod. Blackie just jumped up here on the couch with me. Let me show you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So... I just thought I was never going to see him again, you guys. I really did. I'm like, I'm already, you know, dealing with some things that I'm dealing with. I just got out of the depression stage, uh, like, last year. I'm just fully getting back to fully being myself. Meeting Sweet Tea and talking to her. And I was just telling her, I was like, you you never know how you change a person's life or who comes across your path and life. And I was just telling her, 
you really helped me with me um, being depressed or whatever. I just got out of it. And she was like, oh, you're going to make me cry. But I started a YouTube last year. Only been on here a year. November made a year. And when I started talking to you guys, you know, kind of helped. And then when I started talking to Sweet Tea, it was like, wow. You never know who comes across in your life to help you deal with stuff. And you don't even know you're helping them, but you are. But, yeah. And for them to sit up there and steal my dog. And for the lady on the first floor in the building while I'm at, be the common denominator behind all this just really irks me. And people in the neighborhood was like, we see you walk your dog all the time. We know that's your dog. And they sitting up there saying like they never seen me with the dog before. A lot of people said, well, Rita, I wouldn't have gave them any money because it's your dog you shouldn't have had to pay for, which I shouldn't have because it is my dog. And I gave them $40. And sometimes you have to pick and choose your battles. Because what if I got mad and irate, hollering and screaming? They would have never gave me my dog back. You see what I'm saying? They would have never gave him back to me. But I'm not going to lie. If she would have opened that door... I would have slapped the shit out of her because I know she had my dog. I'm just glad it's over with. Blackie will never be ever out of my sight again. When I let him out the pee, you better rest assured I'm going to be right behind him. When I walk w w with him, I'm going to be right behind him. He turns a corner, I'm right behind him. A less seen learn my dog is like my child he's part of my family and holding my dog for ransom because you want to get high that's really low and fucked up so yeah guys that's all i wanted to say i have to be more consistent on this channel but yeah bye guys